we have an 18th century slant top desk here. Um, some of the characteristics uh, of this particular piece of furniture is the one board, uh, which takes a pretty, pretty nice wide plank uh, for the lid itself. Being a writing surface on the inside, you typically don't want to have uh, you know, seams which would, would bother with signatures or so forth. And uh, uh, this particular piece has a really nice highly figured, nice curly uh, lid to it. And I'll pull the supports out and show you some of the other uh, finer details of this particular piece. You can see the full gallery with the pigeonholes and the little curved uh, drawer fronts as well. And uh, this particular piece has some hidden drawers in it. If I can find a paper clip hidden in here somewhere. And I'll show you. Here we go. Look how the drawer, hidden drawer system works. And it's been a little while since I've been in here, so I'm going to have to hunt. Which one it is. Yeah, I think I found it. And you see the little tiny dovetails and the half blind dovetails in, in this particular little drawer. And I'm going to press. Yeah, behind this column is hidden, uh, it's a hidden drawer, it's a document drawer. And I'm going to press a wooden spring, which released, I pressed in on this wooden spring right here that catches when it goes in, it locks it, you can hear it snap shut. And there's a hidden document drawer in here where wow. you can hide documents. Now if someone was ransacking this desk and actually, uh, Dave's missing out on this, um, went through this and pulled out the documents and think, well, let's chuck it to the side and go for something else in here. They actually missed out on the fact this thing has a secondary little hidden compartment hidden nice. underneath this uh, little false back. It provides just a little bit of space to roll up your special note to a previous sweetheart or whatever you don't want everybody else to see. I'm going to that open so I can show David here in a little bit. I actually should have started um, look at this one. So, Vicky, what's going on? Here?